Hey buddies, it's Victor. It's time for another Eden right here, the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Friday, Mosh Pit, going into the weekend with a like streak streak. I know everyone in the Mosh Pit is going back and liking those other videos from this previous week and last weekend as well. Actually crossing over 3,000 likes on another video. Now we're sitting at only six away from the TM Trainer Run. Thank you everybody sincerely for making it possible. I can't tell you how much it means it to me and also how much it supports the channel. So thank you very much. For making it happen here's your uh screenshot of the day also meme of the day sent in by spank my hank great name by the way hank title throne was a true Invicta full clear and then in parentheses hank also said omega clear question mark uh yeah that is uh that is way more than i'm willing to actually even like do i mean if, if you want to do it great if you want to call that an omega um, omega clear I'll, I'll go ahead and give you the the title of that uh, Hank also said in the thread that that dice room in there, someone had said, wouldn't it be funny if that was a five room? Uh, according to Hank, that was actually a five room, but he just didn't feel like doing another one, which, I mean, I don't know how he did the first one, so hey, good on you on that one. Okay, seed day is going to be uh, Sierra X-Ray, Alpha Charlie X-Ray, Alpha Juliet Whiskey, and we are starting with Damocles. <sighs> well, here's the, here. This is this is the sitch about this here the thing is is that the last time that we started with damocles and the last time i used damocles it was on a run that we had pretty good stats on this run does not have good stats on it um suffice to say i don't know where that demon was going up in the top right i was so fixated on his pathing there that it caused me to run into him like looking up like what buddy are you okay so i don't think that Damocles is a wise play here. Um, yeah. Now, that being said, I will hold on to Damocles, however, um, until we either get some kind of transformation item or any any kind of extra lives or uh, life or anything like that. I think that it's a good hold for us unless we see something better, like literally anything better. Um, but that being said, I, I make the, a promise to you all now that if we do have an, an ample opportune moment to use Damocles, I will absolutely take it. And also, uh, we need to stop taking so much damage. Get butt bombs here. Secret room, I'm not exactly sure where it is. Um, yeah, this is a big first floor, I gotta say. Got ourselves a nice, nice Yave here. I'm gonna, oh, here's the secret room. I'm going to drop the bomb just so we can clear out all these egglets because, as you see here, our tears rate is not ideal. No, th this is getting out of control now, game. We're, we're, we're already, like, you know, on our way to the TM Trainer run. That does not mean we're going to do it today. It, like, what, like, what are you, what are you playing at here? I wouldn't mind Black Candle, to be honest, but it is highly unlikely that we get 15 cents out of one single uh, withdrawal from the donation machine. However, I will say that uh, with us having a having a lot of bombs is uh, definitely helping us get into these secret rooms early on. Um, I hate that I have to use a bomb just to get this, but we've taken way too much damage. Uh, our movement speed is quite bad. So we need some money, not money. Right now, it's definitely feeling like we are just not going to use Damocles. It's not right now, not in the early game anyway. Um, I do not think that our stats are sufficient enough to safely use it and then also like last long enough to where we might be able to get a devil deal in hopes of getting that extra life or transformation item, etc., etc. Yeah, this is getting ridiculous here, turtling. Like, you're one turtling. How are you spawning so many, like, dips here? Or, like, we could just die, like, without, like, even using Damocles. That's also, like, certainly a possibility here. Dude, this, the clown physics are out of control right now. Like, actually out of control. get a range upgrade all right so we end up leaving with no bombs unfortunately not even enough to uh to even try to go for 
the donation withdrawal. We have a fool card, so if there is a boss trap room on the next floor, uh, we'll definitely use it. But man, this is this is this is rough. Very happy that at least we got an HP upgrade, but the likelihood of us holding on to this devil deal right now, especially without any soul hearts at all, is uh very, very unlikely. Um, we can go into the curse room for half price than use the fool card. I still think that it's better off for us to use the fool card to get out of a boss trap room. You know, and as much as I would love to, to use Damocles here, it, it just, it's not wise. If we had even a remotely slightly better start, you could convince me that it would be worth it. But right now, it's just, it's not. Um, get a nice little movement speed upgrade here from the virus, and we also go in the wrong way. So yeah, we're already in struggle bus territory here. I think this is a this is a all hands on deck right now. This is batting down the hatches. We're like brace for impact levels of bad right now. Um, it wouldn't be so bad if we had better damage, which we do not. Two point seven two is uh, significantly lower than base Isaac damage, and uh, we have none of the. We have, like it, it's like soy milk Eskian levels of damage here without any of the benefits of soy milk. As our tears rate's also only 2.2, 2.12, and man, Nature Ward is just uh, also not going to get it done. The only real positive thing that we can come away from this start is the fact that we have 4 HP. That's about it. Um, now, you know, how Damocles may have changed this run, who who knows? I mean, Damocles could have literally killed us already. We, we have no idea. There's no way for me to have known. You know, what What if we had used Damocles and we walked into the secret room and we saw TM Trainer there, but something else could have spawned? You know, that's that's always going to be like a what-if scenario, but it's just in this spot, you cannot do that. You, you cannot second-guess. Just, you can't second-guess logistical, strategical, is the word I'm looking for, choices that you that you make or not make based on the inherent risk of doing so. Okay, repeat. Cool card, that's always great. I was hoping for, like a single soul heart would have been, would have sufficed there. We got lucky with that nickel, but man, this is, yeah. But yeah, don't, don't get in the habit of second guessing yourself whenever you're talking about risk assessment in Isaac. There's always going to be risk. Like you're, the, sec the second you start doubting yourself is when you start really, really playing bad, and you can't do that. Just make the make the choice and move on. That's that's all you can do. So unbelievably, we still have a small chance at getting a devil deal here. A Fate Reward technically is going to help us out in the DPS department a little bit because obviously we're firing more one, more than one tier. I mean, Fate Reward is like a really, really budget incubus if you want to even call them that. You know, it, like, and it's just it's one of those items where it's like, why does this even exist? Like, we have so many followers that do the exact same thing that Fate Reward does. Um. You know, it's it's kind of a like a, a blank slot in your item in your item room. I, I would much rather have gotten a space bar item we could have used, like maybe shoot the whoop or crack the skizzle or anything. But it is what it is. Kind of kind of deal with it here. You got to be careful of the clown physics with Fate's reward as well. Jostling, oh the jostling. Unbelievably, we did actually get a devil deal and. Get a couple bombs here as well. So that is going to give us a soul heart. We can go and uh, empty vessel and contract from below are both pretty good. Um, empty vessel is going to give us two soul hearts. And then contract from below is also going to give us the ability to gain some pretty good pickups for consumables. Um, it has a chance to double basically every drop that we get, which is nice. I think it is worth it for us to go use this fool card. We might as well, because like we have another one already. Um, so let's go ahead and use this fool card. Let's see what we can get. I'm also looking to... I'm trying to spot where the secret room could be. It could be here. 
is there. Okay. Two keys. We'll take it. Now, the best thing that we can see in this curse room would be nine lives. Then I'm, I am, before we go into the next item room, I'm immediately popping Damocles. Or just that. Okay. Well, the full, the world card is way more valuable than the full card. So we're just going to lose that soul heart. And we get a blood bag, which, I mean, I would have taken money, but I will absolutely take another HP upgrade and movement speed. So that's pretty pog right there. Yeah, look at this. We are zooming right now. Why did I know that the super secret room was there? Well, technically, I didn't really know, no, but I figured just because this is a very common placement, as you see here, um, the this, this string of rooms that you see here, like one, two, three, obviously the secret room's not going to be anywhere near here because they're both lo locked by these rocks here. This is the most obvious one because it cannot be here and it can only be there. And then this one, it's very rare to see the uh, super secret room adjacent to the shop like this, especially if you see a button room, um, the one that has all the bombs. So that's how I inferred that it was pretty much almost guaranteed to be there. Um, I am going to bomb the donation machine now that we have a little bit of extra bomb income. I'm going to bomb not only the fortune telling machine, but also the keeper and the donation machine. I do not want to buy booster pack here, but... I do want to get this cardio coin in full because we are we are in need of resources right now. But this is a good start. This this floor was absolutely a, a huge, huge turnaround for where we were just about five minutes ago. Chariot card. We're going to have our mapping. Just guaranteeing that we're going to get a curse of loss in the next floor, but yeah. And uh, we could take the matchstick for more bombs. At the cost of keys, I guess we can hold on to it for now until keys become a problem. Okay, the world. world card here. Yeah, we got ourselves the like streak is back on a streak status. Getting another one on the tally. And, uh, you know, I, I think that it definitely would have cheapened the like streak had I just taken TM Trainer here. <laughs> but starting starting with TM Trainer is definitely a lot different than just, like, taking it, like, of your own accord. Like, because you have no choice when you start it with, start with it in Eden. Um, now, of course, for the like streak, I am going to be... I'm going to be playing as Isaac just so we have more rerolls for... Or TM Trainer passive items because obviously TM Trainer active active items are a real big bummer. Um, you're not guaranteed any sort of stats or anything like that from them, so you kind of have to deal with not knowing if you're going to get any stat up at all. It's in a weird way TM Trainer is kind of like it's kind of like a tainted cane run in the sense that you just don't know where your stats are going to come from, right? Like it's totally random. And I mean, and of course, TM Trainer takes it to the absolute extreme for randomness. Get our red stew here, which is going to give us a huge amount of damage, obviously, that we desperately, desperately needed. I don't mind taking the uh, rotten hearts right now because they will spawn some good, some hard hitting flies. That's where you want to get Dark One right there. You're getting stuck. Him getting stuck on using Brimstone on you. Yeah, there we go. Red Stew doing some dominant plays here, but unfortunately we get an absolute nothing burger of a item from Dark One, and uh, yeah. Hey, there's the curse of lost. But 2020, on the other hand, 2020 definitely gives me hope for this run. If we end up getting something like Inner Eye, if we get like Quad Shot, anything like that, where we have a split, where we have multiple shots that we're firing, multiple projectiles that we're firing, uh, we do not incur the tears down penalty of said item, which is very, very, very nice. Toxic Shock is actually huge here, combined with Red Stew, that's going to give us a large amount of shutdown damage as soon as we enter into a room. It's just a lot of nothing. I mean, yeah, I could take the Necronomicon, but at this point... I think I'm willing to risk holding on to Damocles just in the off chance that we do gain a uh, a way to get a lot of 
a lot of items there through any any means necessary by way of again an extra life or two um yeah we got plenty of keys i'm doing this and again toxic shock is just going to absolutely rip everything to shreds here Actually running a little bit low on bombs, so I don't mind holding on to the matchstick for now. We get more more money, more power for us. Yeah, and that's that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. I I mean contract from below is one of those unsung hero items that you really don't think about a whole lot. It just kind of does what it does, and you're just like, oh cool, I got a double drop. Not realizing how important uh not realizing how important Contract from Below actually truly is. You know, it gives you just nothing but value. And even with us having the matchstick and kind of screwing up our key drops, we're still gaining more keys than we're spending right now, thanks to... We've got the eraser again in a claw machine. Uh, thanks to uh, Contract from Below. Now, the thing is that we are wasting a lot of time here, unfortunately, by going into literally every wrong which direction we could possibly go to. Uh, which is, in my opinion, in my mind, the game trying actively to remove the only buff that we have, and it's literally given us a full clear here on Curse the Lost, effectively wasting our our purchase of um, of red stew, and it also is crippling our effectiveness with the uh, toxic shock as well. So I'm trying to move pretty good pace here I'm tempted to use Damocles on Fallen but I'm not going to <laughs> pound of flesh is pound of bad an item that you just asked, like, what what would you say you do here? And we're trying to fly through these these rooms here just because the only the only advantage we have right now in terms of stats wise is our uh, our red stew buff and it's quickly going down. So now that being said, Toxic Shock is renewing it in a pretty good fashion. Get our requisite greed fight. I'm not going to let the game waste more of our time with, uh, with us trying to go after Cardio Coin. Will we get a stat up? By that, I mean a permanent setup that isn't speed or range. Yes, we do finally get a much needed tears rate. Good lord, we needed that so bad. Gonna get another one here, Ouija board and dark matter. It's gonna give us damage, so trying to look up. The beauty of this is that we are actually able to make boss rush. Now, again, if we had a stronger if we had a stronger amount of base stats here, I would I would definitely use Damocles just for the simple fact of getting a ton and i mean an absolute butt ton of extra items from the boss rush but even with this i know and i know that it looks like we're we're just steamrolling right now but you got to remember that our base stats are actually quite bad um so don't let this fool you we're still being augmented heavily right now by red stew and that's that's why and that combined with toxic shock of course that's why it looks like we're just we're just rolling the game but I'm not going to let that lull me into a false sense of security here because I know that once Red Stew is gone, we're we're in we're in deep, rolling in deep. Gonna wait on that, and ooh man. gonna take mom's knife 
only because I want to activate. I want to activate uh, empty vessel. Now our damage is looking quite solid. Polyphemus mom's knife. Yeah, yeah. Now, now we're talking about the good stuff here. But we are about to be. We're, we're about to go down to the to the womb, so I mean, every hit down there obviously is going to be one full heart of damage. So we can't be too confident about our chances right now. We just got to play safe. This is going to be uh, the best defense is a is a good offense, basically, in a nutshell here. And as you see there, Red Stew has now officially gone way of the dodo we still have not found our item room yet which is the only thing i was really looking for definitely would not mind getting a soul heart or two game oh you know what i would I'm still gonna stick with the matchstick Get the crystal ball, which is phenomenal. And remember, we took the we took the school bag, so it's going to going to allow us to have crystal ball and Damocles simultaneously here. But I think it's a foregone conclusion now that we probably don't need to use Damocles. Um, it's, it's just a it's a risk that is just not necessary anymore. That is a bona fide, genuine, some Victor full clear right there. I tell you what. Okay. Okay. Okay, game. Now, now you got my attention. Now we're, we're looking a little rosier here. All right. You could have given me one of those early on, and then we, who knows what this run would have looked like. But now with Lazarus's rags, we absolutely are going to be using Damocles when we get to the next boss, because there's no reason to use it right now. absolutely and still get some pretty big profit from Damocles here despite us being towards the end of this run possibly I don't know we'll, we'll I don't know I don't know what the, the future of this run holds get a chance to go into extra innings I mean you know with Lazarus's rags but, but here's the thing though with Lazarus's rags it's not necessarily the best the best extra life that we could ask for just because of the fact that it it, re it resurrects you in the same room that you died in and it only starts you with a half of a heart so suffice to say uh you got to be real sure that you are you're gonna you're gonna be fine with damocles in this spot assuming that damocles is going to fall right now you know we haven't used it yet so i'm going to use it now however we've ripped it so Damocles is now officially active. And we don't get a devil deal. Not that it really matters anyway, because devil deals devil deals are not affected by Damocles. Um, it would be amazing if they were, but unfortunately they're just not. So we're going to do a little bit of exploration. Let's see if we can enable an extra item or two on this floor. purposely not using the crystal ball just because I'd rather wait <laughs> like yeah we could be getting we could be getting like a soul heart here but not that big of a deal. this run is not won or lost on soul hearts at this point it's won or lost based on if Damocles falls As we go for the extra bosses here. So Damocles will not activate in terms of damage until you take damage from an enemy source, which does not include going through 
a curse room or using an IV bag or anything like that. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, I think it is worth it for us to go in this vault here, especially with us having a golden key. Ideally, you just never, ever get hit with Damocles, and then you just don't have anything to worry about, but <laughs> we don't... We do not live in an ideal world. Or something. That sounds like an 80s song. Surprisingly, bombs, even despite us having the matchstick and also having contract from below, bombs have been uh, a little sparse. Okay, I don't know what that was, but... Go off. Now we could... We could... Uh, go fight old Hushy. And that would get us a significant amount of extra items. Uh, with Damocles. Well, actually, no, it wouldn't. It would only give us two. But if we go old Hushy, then we could go fight Delirium, which would give us more. But the thing is, is that, again, and this, I hate to keep beating this old drum, but, like, it goes back to the fact that, like, we just don't need to. You know, there's no incentive for me to go, to go do that. To put everything at risk just to go, what, to get a couple extra items in a run that's already won? Like, there's, where, what's my motivation here type thing, you know? And I, for one, do not want to fight Hush with only one HP. Pretty, pretty bad. But I'll make you a deal. I'll make you a deal. If we don't take damage before a delirium portal opens up, I will go fight delirium. That's if, if, and, and what you have to do is, is all you got to do is click the like button. That's it. That's the deal. That's the price. I'll do delirium, assuming that we haven't taken damage and you got to click the like button. That simple. Oh, that's going to hit. I don't know why I didn't use the, uh, hey, there we go. I don't know why I didn't use the crystal ball. There's our damage with Damocles. So we are now on the, on the bubble here. And I'm going to leave that soul heart just in case if Damocles does fall before Isaac. So we have at least something to come back to. But now it's a race against time. And taking subsequent damage hits from uh, from targets after Damocles is activated does not increase your chance of Damocles falling. It's, it's a flat rate. Okay, let's go back and get, get that soul heart. I ran into Isaac on purpose there just because I wanted to activate uh, Polar Invincibility and just... Do, just do away with them with the Polyphemus. And we're just going to have to race till Blue Baby. We got really lucky by getting this Emperor card. So the only thing that could screw us now would be if Damocles falls while we're fighting Blue Baby. That would be real bad. Man, that was a lot of damage right there. I'm going to take Super Bandage. Now it goes Blue Baby. No Delirium Portal at all. And Damocles did not fall, thankfully. Thankfully. I think we can we can sneak in a, a cheeky little... Cheeky little greed run. Face Isaac? Yeah, that sounds like fun. That, I mean, we flew through that run, obviously, because of... Uh, because of uh, Red Stew and... Uh, Toxic shock, but also because we had to get we had to race against Damocles. Uh, second run, greed run here. Whiskey, X-ray, Quebec, Juliet, Juliet, Golf, three, Echo. And uh, actually, I need to give me a second. I got to pause the recording because I just had a package delivered. I'll be right back. Sorry about this. Sorry about that. Thunder thighs is not great here, um, just because 
bad movement speed in greed is a killer. Let's do again. Okay, we get a soul heart here. I'm going to let the spider hit me and then see if I can grab the soul heart. Well, <laughs> in theory, it would have worked okay. Um, I guess we can go ahead and take the range upgrade here from Mom's Pearls. It does give us another soul heart. Um, or we can wait on it, actually, because we don't want to maybe damage the other soul heart before the devil deal. Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's just wait. Ooh. Now, a golden poop here. If we end up getting the counterfeit penny, your boy's going to be pretty happy about that. Gonna be real happy. It's gonna be real nice. Cause we gotta get it first, but. Oh, 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 oh. oh baby. That, yeah, see, right there is the reason why I didn't want to take that other soul heart. Okay, so counterfeit penny. Man, the game is really feeling generous today. Um, yeah, it's pretty strong. Now, we did waste a lot of time hiding those mobs around instead of actually, like, killing them. So what that that's significant because it means that they're going to basically be getting out of control in a hurry here. So in other words, we gotta we gotta put on our best dodging shoes as best as possible and try to not die here. And I do stand by me not taking under thighs as that would have been extremely dangerous, especially with us trying to run around and hide all these fast-moving moms like these mullabooms, for example. Of course, blew up on us anyway, so whatever. I was trying... It, like, I don't mind them blowing up on us. I just... I wanted them to take out other things other than themselves. There we go. There we go. Okay. So let's go get a... Let's go get our... Get our key. Red stew is not bad here to start with. It does give us a full heal as well. <sighs> Epicoagulation is such a... It, it's a disappointing item. I honestly think that hypercoagulation is another one of those items that just needs to be looked at for like a rework. Um, because like the hearts don't last long enough for you to for it to be meaningful, right? They fly out at like really weird angles that like are basically irretrievable angles. And on top of that, like is a half red heart really going to be that important for some builds, you know? Yeah, like you could be running like red heart builds for sure, but it's a niche appeal. And for, for being like a powerful tainted unlock item, especially for a character so much fun as tainted Maggie, I would, I want that, I would want that to be just, to just be just more. Um. We already had a mom's knife run, so I'm, this is this is going to be a time where I am going to pass a mom's knife. I will absolutely take Bloody Lust. And Shade is... Sh shade, I guess. Um, I don't want to waste too much time here because we have our buff ticking away with, uh, with Red Stew. But we're just going to leave Hyper... I mean, I guess we can take it. There's no reason not to. But Hyper Coagulation is just not a good item. Um, I would want something... I would be much more happy with hypercoagulation being something to the effect of it gives you the ability to heal from like melee attacks, like like Tainted Maggie, for example. Like it gives you the ability to have her hug or something like that. I don't know. I try to do that, you know, like instead of instead of just instead of just complaining about about stuff that like oh this is bad or that's bad, like. You know, trying to bring up, trying to bring up like, okay, well, you know, if you don't like it, then what is, what's your solution? You know, I think that, I think that just, just saying that stuff is bad with, it's like, okay, well, what's your idea? Sometimes I, I will, I will say that sometimes it's not, it's not the player's responsibility. We're not designers. It's not our, it's not our job to, to come up with the good ideas. We can just say like, you know, hey, this idea is just bad. Um, or we don't like this idea. You know, feedback is always important. Um, and I do kind of agree with that to a certain extent. Um, but at the same time, like, you know, with me knowing so much about this game, you know, I think that it's, I'd probably not be doing my job very well if I didn't say like, Hey, this is what I would do. Like if I don't like hypercoagulation, what would I change? I don't know. 
maybe give it Maggie, Tainted Maggie's like melee hug or something like that, or or make it to where if you do kill something with an orbital or with like something that Isaac is holding, like a melee item, you heal off of it or have a chance to get a, a soul heart. I don't know. No, it's like, I don't know. Something like that. Anything, anything I think would be better than what we have right now, which is just an item that if you're lucky enough to get hypercoagulation to pay out and like, and you're able to use that red heart, then sure. But more often times than not, it's just an item that I just completely ignore. It's do really doing a number for us here in both of these runs. And I think we should try to roll for a little bit of HP here just because we are going to... We okay. Well, I wasn't planning on buying everything, but uh, I mean, if you're just going to... It's going to show me a whole bunch of good stuff, game. I'm, I'm not going to stop you. Red Stew plus Lump of Coal. I mean, Lump of Coal... Or uh, Red Stew is running out real fast here, but... The multiplicative powers of Lump of Coal are just too too strong to pass up. And uh, that's going to be two or three for Guppy. Um, don't really need or want... So far, I don't know why I didn't go pick that up, but... I'm trying to, I'm trying to maintain our Red Stew buff here. Surprisingly, still not really getting keys. Yeah, I'll take Sty. We're, we're firing fast enough to where Sty, I think, could, in theory, have some impact. Um, and we're just going to straight jump straight on into this wave here just because, again, I'm trying to just get the most value that we can out of Red Stew. Because it's such an early buy. Like, you, we talk about, you know, value town and, and wanting to make sure that we get as, as much as we can. Like, we're spending our money efficiently. And it's such an early item, an early premium item at that, that costs 15 cents. You best believe that you need to get 15 cents worth, if not more, out of a hard carry item. Um, because there's many other items that would line up around the block to say, like, hey, I, like, I'm going to carry you across this run. I'm going to carry you through this run here. So a Red Stew can definitely do that. But it's only good as you allow it to be. Um, if you dilly-dally and just kind of, like, ignore it or forget about it, it's not really going to do much for you. So, you know, as much as as much as possible, try to get as 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 good a value as you possibly can out of early game pickups like Red Stew. So Red Stew is about to run out here, and that's fine. We got we got plenty of value out of it. Um, Science infections, not bad. It ain't bad, y'all. You see, we're already back to base base Isaac damage. Meat would give us a slight damage upgrade and HP upgrade as well. IBS is IB bad. Yeah, Sanguine Bond. I'm down for it. We are taking damage here. That's the reason why you see our damage going up. And honestly, I, I think I am going to take Meat just because I want to have a little bit of extra HP. And who knows? Maybe, maybe hypercoagulation can prove me wrong. Maybe it will allow us to make a couple of extra taps on Sanguine Bond. Who knows? All I do know is that our movement speed is bad, so... It, it's it's not bad. I mean, it is bad, but it's base Isaac damp, um, uh, movement speed, not damage. So, in other words, the chance of us getting any value out of hypercoagulation is fairly low. If we do take damage. You see... You see the the velocity and the angle that hypercoagulation just fires out of. It's it's impossible to get those hearts. Now, if they actually like stayed on the ground, that would be one thing. Backstabber is great, and Ventral Spirit is not great. Um, I also totally forgot to play a Sanguine Bond, but you knew that was going to happen. Uh, one bomb for a Soul Heart, meh. I'd rather use that bomb to try to find the secret room. One bomb for two. <laughs> That's good enough for me. Now, if we get a coin here, we might have a chance to get Mom's Ring, which would be a nice damage upgrade to boot. Um, but we didn't, so... 
There's a tender rock up there, which we don't have a bomb for, unfortunately. We're only one away from Guppy, and again, with the D-Sizzle, that gives us a very good chance of getting it. Half-price key is good enough for me. Raw liver would be a fantastic pickup for Sanguine Bond, and oh my gertie. Give me some of that Montezuma's Revenge. Not in real life, though, because, like, I don't want to experience that, but... Montezuma's Revenge and Isaac. You talk about your talk about your value item, and if you... You get what you put into it, essentially. The more practice you get with Montezuma's Revenge, the better it's going to be for you, and it can really prove itself to be one of those premier carry items. When you really have no other option for a tier effect, Montezuma's Revenge answers the call. And out of context, these are all very weird sentences to say. If you don't know what Montezuma's Revenge is, uh, uh, look it up, maybe? Or maybe, you know what? Maybe I probably shouldn't tell you to look it up. It's not not going to be appropriate for early Friday morning breakfast. Yeah, we're going to take raw liver here again. This gives us two red hearts to operate off of. And yeah, I am going to take Jesus Juice for a nice, nice little bit of extra damage here. Now, what we should do is we should play Sanguine Bond before we use the D6 to roll anything. Because the the, the Sanguine, Sanguine Bond play has a chance to spawn an item pedestal. And if we're going to roll, we might as well roll with the largest chance of getting a guppy item. Also, let's stop taking damage. How about that? We're getting hit by, like, random across-the-screen shots here. That needs to stop. It needs to stop right now. Oh, there's a second Mr. Fred up here. And, yep, that's a devil deal right here, folks. You've seen it first. Wow. That is maximum troll right there. How can you call this a devil deal game? Like, seriously. This is ridiculous. Like, that's just straight up ridiculous. Soul hearts here. We'll know that we get a... Actually, no, we won't. We won't know if we get a permanent damage upgrade. Oh, I guess we will. Got one damage upgrade. There are failing a lot of 35% here. Okay, there you go, everybody. There's uh, there's the game being a little brat about everything. Being a little bee about everything. Uh, we're going to buy one more half-price key. And uh, might as well roll this. and er, Crack jacks for more HP. And Curse of the Blind. Now, this is the game being an even bigger bee about everything. Curse of the Blind. And agreed. All right. So you give us a you give us a non Devil Deal Devil Deal, and then you give us a Curse of the Blind on a greed greed run. Therefore most likely denying Guppy from us ever getting it here on this run. That's Isaac, baby! Especially since we just spent, I mean, it was only three cents, but we also spent, you know, three cents to get that key, because it would be the last one that we need. I think we just heal up here and uh you know, we we can take a a two heart devil deal but it's it's risky it's definitely risky we have no bombs so pretty happy about that yeah that was um 
That was Mazuma's revenge just dominating everything right there. And backstabber, of course, as you hear the rocks going off. So neither one of these are neither one of these are double H. They're they're not they're not too hard double deals, so. And neither of those, so we are just going to head on down. Great floor game. Lots of fun. Glad we stopped by. I have expected it to be another Curse of the Blind. HP upgrade. This does give us... Oh, no, it doesn't. Uh, but I do want it because our movement speed is pretty bad. Okay, well, that gives us a chance to maybe get Guppy. Really. Movement speed. All right, our movement speed has now, now been solved. Okay, so there is a full charge there. So I'm going to use that as an opportunity to reroll rather than using the um, reroll machine. We can just use the D6 on the full charge here. And what we're going to do is we're going to use it to re-roll the curse room for a guppy item. I'm not sure how Backstabber is hitting these things from the front, but you know what? I'm not going to sit here and ask questions. With the, the stunt that the game pulled on the last floor, you know what? I'll take it. Hey, come on. You got you got an extra run today. Come on now. Come on now. MP is pretty good, but not what we're looking for. I am going to take Black Candle only because we need to get a full charge for the Devil deal. Like, it's unlikely that we're going to hold on to this HP because like we have to have enough money to refill our HP before we go fight super greed or ultra greed monster zoomers revenge is just is just destroying things here they're all great great pickups lots of damage Pack doesn't really do much for us. Man, this is tough. I hate giving up th a three a three devil deal item pedestal when we are only one away from Guppy. Uh, that's, I don't know. I don't know if we could have, if we could have done something different there. I mean, the only thing we could have done different is simply just re-rolled that, the triple item pedestal, but what can you do? Uh, uh no, no, no. And no. Yeah. Empress card? Sure, I'll take it. <laughs> you would give us a way of getting back in there, game, wouldn't you? There's no way that we can get five cents out of this, unfortunately. Or a full charge. We didn't take Nun's Habit, so... Uh... Yeah, hang on a second now. Can we sacrifice the soul of the forgotten? Soul of the forgotten Joker. 
we will never find out. I guess I kind of did that out of order. I, for some reason, thought the soul of forgotten was going to follow us into the devil deal. I don't know why I thought that it just lasted till it died. All right, and here we go. Not an ideal build here. We got Backstabber, though. Backstabber, Monsumer's Revenge. Monsumer's Revenge, obviously, is going to be a little bit harder to use against Ultra Greed, but especially, like, you know, when his hitbox doesn't get hit by it. But, you know, when, when we get hit by his hitbox, it's from, like, you know, 30 miles away. Do some fancy dodging here. Nice infection is going to keep up the pressure here with constant dots. Yeah, I'm just going to stay as far back away as possible because the range on his whirlwind is about 400 million miles. Gotta pick up the nickels, otherwise he will heal a significant amount of HP from those. I didn't I didn't even see that nickel, so. Science infection is actually killing all the greed mobs before he can spawn them. We are gonna get the dub here in greed. Oh man, it was uh, it was kind of an intense run towards the end there. Really disappointed that we didn't get Guppy, but what can you do? So thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you had a great Friday. If you enjoyed the special bonus run, make sure you click the like button. Let's keep that like streak alive and get us to a three spot going into the weekend. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And as always, see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some patrons of mine like Asher, Ashley Keaton, and Medic Wolf. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find over at patreon.com slash Invicta.